Hi ladies and gentlemen, viewers of North America with another winner, a very beautiful and uh, stunning uh, Manisha Rustamji. Manisha, how are you doing today and how are you feeling? Hi, good evening. I'm doing very well and I'm happy to be a part of Miss Perfect Mrs. India as a jury. And I'm also a pageant queen for Mrs. India, Mrs. World and Mrs. India, Mrs. Universe. I'm a blogger, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a pet influencer and a lot more, including a fashion designer. So wow. thank you is for there anything? Me is there anything that's left? Are you standing for politics, standing for elections? There's a possibility <laughs> I could be. <laughs> There's a possibility. But you know, that's how a jury should be because I think she excels in all these fields. So as a jury, what do you look for you know, in a winner? What do you look for in a contestant? What's the most important elements? Uh, being a pageant queen, uh, we have uh, certain standards that we would look forward to an individual. First, it would be their self-confidence. Then it would be their presentation. And then definitely it would be their styling. And above all, they all have an advocacy or uh, for example, yesterday I was a judge with the same uh, Perfect Mrs. India for their talent round. For the talent round, okay, okay. Yes. So what did they do? What did they perform? I'm very curious. Uh, my question to all the contestants was that you're performing, but I would like to know the message behind your performance. Very good. Very as good. one lady performed as a lion, half lion, half human. Oh, Her message was uh, the dark side of all human beings. Wow. So I was fascinated by this message. I'm fascinated by the thought. That's good. That's and her performance was brilliant and I have shared her on my story. I'm also a blogger. I have a page named Manzi's Marzi. So I am a lifestyle influencer and a, a total health influencer as well. So I promote, um, I believe in women empowerment and I believe Don't that... Don't we all believe in women empowerment? Marzi? We do, we do. So it's Mansi's Mercy. Mansi's Mercy is the name of my page. My Correct. name is Manisha Rustam. Okay, so why it's why is it Mansi's Mercy? Why um, not Manisha's Mercy? My pet name is Mans. Your pet's name is Mans. And okay. I always do whatever is my own Mercy. Exactly. Apni Mercy ki mal ki. Kitne followers hai aapke? I think over 250k to hai. Aapki dua se. Dua se aage aate jayenge followers. Ji. I'm sure that we'll have, you know, you'll you'll have. Uh, a wonderful, wonderful following. We have Manisha, and now we have a really stylish icon, the stud of television, walking into the frame. Ritu, sir, uh, let's put our hands together. Great to see you again. Great to see you again. I, I think Manisha's oh, Manisha's you. beauty just stopped you. Oh, You're like oh, jate jate. Wonderful, wonderful. So, uh, you know, as we were speaking, Manisha is actually uh, a part of the jury. Right. So, uh, you know, my question to her was, what are the three most important characters or elements that you see in a winner? So, you know, I would take that answer from you and I'll take the same answer from Ritu, sir. Uh, I mean, assuming hypothetically he's a part of the jury too. Uh, my first um, uh, lookout in any contestant would be their self-confidence. Self-confidence, And okay. then the advocacy that they bring to a pageant. And then their conscious sense of styling and representing themselves on stage. Thank you. What about you? She yeah, answered right. like a, a, a contestant. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice, I must say. I yeah. And uh, she skewed me in. <laughs> I have a slightly different opinion, but yes, more or less agree with what you said. And uh, I definitely go with that, that the most important thing I see as a person who is privileged enough to be a judge uh, is the self-confidence in an individual. Great. If you believe in yourself, like I have said many times earlier, then, then you are yourself. And apart from that, yes, styling is important because you are representing uh, some aspect of fashion uh, on, on a stage, right, in front of viewers and there are a lot of young viewers who are sort of looking at you and understanding you to be uh, somebody who they could aspire to be. Correct. So you're playing Correct. that card Correct. and apart from that, the, the self-confidence and your turnout, the way you're looking, is the feeling that you're feeling inside. Because you might be the most wonderful, most beautiful, most handsome oh, thank you, person thank you. on earth. Right. But if you're not feeling it, it won't come across. So just feel it. That's what I look for.
Excellent, excellent answers. If I had a chance to crown you, I would crown you guys right now and give you guys the awards yeah, for the yeah, Mr. Yeah. for the Mr. and Miss <laughs> I, I uh, personality. We want to crown you as the amazingly lovely no, person. I appreciate totally it. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank totally you. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank keep you it guys. up. All I appreciate the best for your show. I appreciate and it. Keep, keep, keep all our lovely audiences with you. Absolutely. Thank Absolutely. You so thank you so much, guys. Thank thank the you beautiful guys. Thank you Manisha, so much. the amazing. Uh, uh, Debonair Rituraj and he was uh, you know uh, sparkling the scene and the screen with his raw talent and keep keep uh, doing the great work philanthropy uh, she does like so many a different things you know a jack of all trades uh, yeah. but you know she's phenomenal and yeah, and also girls we have in our country. And very strong yes girls. believe believe this is the year and the decade of women empowerment Absolutely. Jai Ho. Yeah. Thank you so much. Keep everybody. watching the Monty Khan show. Right on. Keep watching the show. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi guys, we are uh, back and talking with this wonderful, wonderful phenom. Her name is Manisha. She's doing a lot for the community, has done a lot for the community and has a beautiful future in store. So let's get to know from Manisha herself what she's done in the past and what she's going to be doing in the future. So Manisha, I know we spoke a lot that you've done. I would want you to tell our audience what all, what all you have done and what you're going to be doing in the future. Actually, it's been a journey and I'm very lucky to participate with um, different platforms and with the different platforms I have participated with, I have been able to do a lot of uh, social work and I have been able to reach out a lot of people. As a, a pageant uh, contestant for Mrs. India INC and Mrs. World official, oh. The official I will, Mrs. World. Yeah, the official Mrs. World. Mrs. World, not Mrs. Mrs. World. World. Got yes. you, got Mrs. you, got you. Mrs. Yes. India INC is the only platform which is um, in... Uh, uh, in collaboration with Mrs. Um, World International, the only recognized, uh, licensed uh, uh, pageant that we have in India today. And I am uh, the top uh, 20 winner of uh, Mrs. India World. And okay. during my pageantry journey, we were given tasks and we were introduced to um, raising funds for um, cancer-driven children. For cancer-driven children. children. Okay, so you did raise funds for them. Yes, we. Excellent. Uh, yes, we did raise funds for cancer-driven children. We were with associated with an NGO, and we were given tasks to continue collecting money for them, and the money was directly given uh, to the cancer-driven children. And after winning the pageant of Mrs. India INC, Mrs. World. I headed to Mrs. Uh, Universe, Mrs. Official. Universe, official, Mrs. Mrs. India, Universe. official. So this is all official, guys. It's not these small beauty pageants that have been are, happening in the, different cities. These are cities. the official, these are the official world, world pageants. World pageants. The okay. world pageants. Yeah, there are pageants everywhere, and I would say every pageant is beautiful, but certain pageants hold a certain platform. A value. A value. So I am lucky and blessed to be associated with the pageants that uh, hold international platform. Great, so, great. Uh, being, what did you do? Uh, what did you do at uh, Mrs. In, uh, Universe? Mrs. At Mrs. Universe, when we were traveling, uh, it was COVID time, so um, the restriction to South Korea was uh, very difficult. Of course, as an Indian ambassador par participating abroad, I was lucky to travel to South Korea, and we all had an advocacy. The advocacy of Mrs. Universe was to stop domestic violence, and um, the, at that time. Um, Ukraine and Russia war was going on. Correct. It's still going on, unfortunately. Yeah, but it had just started it at that time. It had just started at its peak. At its peak. Actually. And we had both Mrs. Russia and Mrs. Ukraine at the pageant. That's great. That's so, great. So, while we were supporting our advocacies of uh, charity of domestic violence, which came across from 132 countries across the world, women from different walks of life, women from different countries standing together and sharing their experiences against domestic violence, which is a cause dear to Mrs. Universe. It is a very, it is a very important topic and a very important cause, uh, Manisha. But my question to you is, there's one point in advocating it and there's one point in getting results in making a change in a woman's life. How do you measure or gauge that? Baate karna to bahut asaan hota hai. Uska result kaise laya aur uska result kaise measure kiya? Ye janna zaruri hai. Dekhi, main aapko ye kehna chahoongi. Meri first point ye rahegi ki Mrs. Universe ke pageant mein, jabhi Ukraine aur Russia ka war tha, Mrs. Ukraine had lost her house, maybe her family and lot of her money. She was there on a borrowed gown. 
Okay. She was there on a borrowed uh, ticket or whatever. So that itself shows you the pageantry is an international platform for bounding, for empowering women. True, and true, this true. itself I shows agree with it. that she stood up for her country there. Agreed. And also the women who participated, most of them had come there with solutions. They were with um, red flags in a domestic violence relationship. Red flags in case somebody raises a hand on you. Red flags in case somebody is trying to do an acid attack. But do you have an example of people that you have helped in real life yes. who have actually been yes. suffering with domestic violence? Yes. So with the uh, pageant Mrs. Uh, Universe, we help raising funds for anti-domestic violence. And we had our own legacy at the um, for which pageant. Country? Funds, funds? From India. But for which country? To support so, which country? For the NGOs country? of your own country. For the NGOs yes, of your own and country. I had been Very given good. the award Very of good. Mrs. Charity as I had supported many NGOs against domestic violence. Very I had good. also supported orphanages and at that time uh, when um, COVID was at its peak, I was also a member of Karu Seva which uh, is a in Mumbai everybody knows it as a group which went and supported people and helped giving them food. So Karu Seva was a group that was, um, you know, um, making sure that people receive food. Also, we were working with pets because I'm a pet influencer as well. Many pets were also deserted at that time and they needed help. So I also helped uh, many pets getting relocated, many pets getting shelter. And our pets are very dear to me as and when I can rescue I them and place them. You are doing also, a beautiful, beautiful, noble cause. Yes. Go also, ahead. we did work along with uh, the ALM Mind Space at Malad West and I, we have donated trees together as an ALM and individually we have donated over 10 lakh trees and we have been given the Zilla Taluka award as well to ourselves and as my firm and company because I'm an entrepreneur as well. She's an so, entrepreneur. Yes. Very also nice. with uh, the ALM uh, Malad whom I'm associated with and I'm a member also. We have collectively and individually also donated um, trees and there is a good news which I think uh, the world is aware about the ALM Malad has spotted flamingos in India it has flamingos in India, flamingos in India. so we are clearing um, the path behind um, the back road of Malad and there is a creek in which the flamingos visit every year and being a part of the ALM, I am also supporting the cause and helping them rebuild um, flamingo valuation uh, points so that the flamingos can fly to India and be safe and the sanctuary can be built for our Indian people. And we can also be environment friendly and uh, uh, at the end of it, we want sustainable living for the entire planet. That's true. That's true. I agree with you, Manisha. But of all the things that you've just mentioned, all the causes that you've just mentioned, I do respect the cause of, uh, you know, uh, domestic violence. And I see that you guys have done uh, your, your due diligence, your, your needful in order to help the, the community. But who is responsible for actually checking that the contribution, the donation has been used in Has the funds been utilized in the, has the funds been utilized sorry sir has the has the funds been utilized in the right way or in the right direction that's my yes. question when we are associated with any uh, ngos like the platforms that i've said the ngos are directly associated say to tata memorial cancer patients so you're not paying us or you're not paying the mrs india or you're not paying any particular ah, you are paying the hospital itself you're paying the like for example you. mrs manisha rustamji is asking charity for cancer driven patients just pay on this upi it starts with rupees 50 to whatever you feel like donating so it directly goes to the hospital funds it directly Excellent. goes to that Excellent. there is so no there is no foul play here because uh, we are also responsible people we will also and does, be does somebody go to the hospital and check if the money given to the hospital is used in the right direction. When you're talking about the names such as Tata Memorial Hospital, when you're talking about brand names as huge as that, they endorse trust. Okay. So you because are, we trust the you're hospitals. vouching for brands. Not only brands, we know the brands, no, they are the only ones Excellent. who have donated so much, who have done so much. In case you're not aware, Tata Memorial Hospital does have free medicine here for people who cannot afford chemotherapy. That there are a lot I of... I didn't know that, yeah, I'm sorry. Like in, I have to admit. Hospital, there are many hospitals here which if you go and tell them, look, I cannot afford this, they would help you out. So we living in Mumbai are aware of um, um, the benefits that we can gain from the hospitals that are here. There are many charitable hospitals, there are OPDs, there is a way 
way that we can help rescue people, especially when they need it. Excellent, Manisha. We'd like to end this beautiful conversation so by just uh, you know your few closing words. If people would like to join you, contribute to to your cause, or be a part of your great mission, where do they have to go? Kaha unko koi link hai ya koi aapki kuch Instagram page? See the pageants when I was participating in the foundation or the charities and everything has been done then and done with. As and when new events happen, as and when new foundations happen, that's when I am a blogger as well. So I do share the link on my Instagram page. I also put it on my WhatsApp status. Uh, we did rescue a couple of uh, birds recently. We did rescue a couple of animals recently. And there is um, one um, uh, pet... Um, uh, center which is very dear to my heart and they are actually helping uh, the strays so when I was promoting them they did uh, give a link and they did uh, want help because uh, a lot of strays are being killed by people they are being tortured just because they are strays and uh, there are people who are helping them there is a group of friends whom I know who are adopting strays and while they are doing yoga they are keeping the puppies along with the people who are doing yoga That's so good. my heart That's is good. very close um, to you such causes yeah, animals, I love okay. animals and humans so I he loves animals and, and humans. humans very much so what <laughs> The, the, the importance of the sequence. <laughs> I kidding. love elderly people kidding. also. My no, heart I, also I, goes. I, it's just a little sense of humor that I have. I know that. But you know, my heart goes to the elderly people. Yes, Tata yes, has just started. Absolutely. One, um, um, if you are aware of, they have started a helpline for elders who need help. Are you aware of that? I am not. Okay. And it's great. It's called a Thank companion. You Everybody knows that. Thank you for and there was a me. link. For that to share for people. So they can talk, the elders can talk yeah, to somebody. Yeah, if they want somebody to take them out um, for, to a doctor, they want doctor, somebody to take help. them out for a movie. So this, this Senior was very... Senior citizen help, yeah. Yes. So it was um, very dear to me and it was it was a cause I would uh, promote and I would definitely tell everyone, be kind because um, life is short and well, we are very sure. blessed because we have governments that enable us to speak. They empower us at this platform. They give us freedom. I'm very sorry to hear and see war in this world. And uh, since we are blessed, we should share our blessings and do as much as we can and contribute and pay back to the society because that is our way of saying thank you to the society. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That is a wonderful Manisha. She thank speaks you. so well. She has so many good causes. A great person, good heart. Keep watching the Monty Khan Show. We'll be meeting with more interesting people. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, viewers of North America, it's time to meet somebody from U.S. Mira Dost from D.C. Let's put our hands together for De Niro Ash. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, bro. What's happening? How is Mumbai treating you, pal? Treats me well. Treats me well. Lovely. Love your voice. Love the bass. Yar, ek line bolke bata na. Rishte mein to ham tumare paap lagte hain. Rishte mein to ham tumare paap lagte hain. Naam hai? Naam hai. De Niro Ash. Naam hai De Niro Ash. Awaz. I'm a top <laughs> I love that, brother. You've been gifted with a nice uh, baritone voice. Thanks, so, that, bro. Uh, how is the singing going along, brother? What's going on? What's the uh, future projects to look out for? I know you're, you're in Mumbai for a reason. Yeah, um, I'm here for the award show, and um, there was one yesterday and today. Um, I'm working simultaneously with Sarigama on um, on a remixes projects and stuff, okay. and originals. Um, I have a couple of my new tracks coming out with with my dearest dearest uh, friend Apache Indian. Yeah, about it. Singing yeah. with Apache. Yeah. You look like Apache, man. No, I, I can <laughs> never look like Apache. Number He's one, another Bombay, Bombay chart. India, I'm gonna tell me apart. Kill them out. Kill All them right. out. Kill them out, man. Yeah, we're gonna get that. Timeless, timeless, Apache is timeless. timeless. Classic. So, so you, you want to uh, work with Apache, so he's going to be doing the rapping portion or you're going to be doing the... Yeah, so I've already released two songs with him. One is called Freedom, that's in his album, What's, What's Not to Love. And second one, it's called The Rise Up. Now we have a third song coming up, it's called Verava. So this song is very special because it's, uh, it's Tamil, English, and Patwa, and Hindi. 
all four languages, buddy. You got to learn all these languages. But I need to start off with the first one, freedom, because you know I'm a big fan of George Michael, and Java freedom bolte ho. So the only thing that comes to my mind is freedom. You yeah. know. So you got to sing your freedom for me. So this freedom is like freedom, 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 freedom. Tere pyar mein hai freedom, 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 freedom. Where, where does Apache come in, man? Where does Apache come Over in? the rock with the city was a music viber. Turn off the lights, turn off the bass liner. That's Apache's line. Yeah, hai, yaar, I'm standing with a future celebrity. Kal ko ye bhai bada admi ban gaya. To ye to autograph bhi nahi dega. Hey, mujhe sign karna nahi aata. Angootha laga. Angootha laga ke dega. Mujhe neela color ka pad hota hai. Wo leke ghumna padega bhai ke aspaas. That's right. That's right. That's but what right. about the second one? So you said freedom, and then you said something uh, else. Also. It's called rise up. Rise up. Um, that's with with Apache and Shibani. Look, Shibani it has nothing to do with you men. Don't take it in the wrong way. Rise up is a nice uh, 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 two words which could mean yeah. a lot of things. Even even freedom itself is it says a lot. Oh, uh, rise, rise up is a Shibani. R rise up with Shibani Kashyap and Apache Indian. Okay, okay. And uh, Chesan. Then um, how does uh, rise up go? Rise up. I make you rise up. I make you rise, oh! You know, uh, you gotta check this song out. It's already on Spotify and everywhere. You're an artist, man. You can't be shy. You have to sing. You have to rock the screen, boy. मेरे जैसा बंदा अगर गा सकता जब मैं गाता हूँ लोग टीवी बंद कर देते हैं but still मैं गाता हूँ. I still keep singing. I don't give it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. तो कैसे जाता है rise up? Rise up. Okay. Imagine I'm a Pache Indian dressed up in a suit. Rise up. One time again and then rise up. One time again and then one, one. मेरा जादू ऐसा है मेरे यार जो भी देखे हो जाए उसको प्यार rise up rise up rise up rise up rise up baby rise up rise up rise up rise up yeah, but the Kebab spot. It's it's pretty really cute. It's, it's, a, it's a very nice it's a very nice uh, I could say like very it's a very humming song. It's a very good song. Yeah, it is a very humming song. Both freedom, both freedom and rise up are very interesting. And we wrote that in uh, I wrote these songs in in lockdown. Oh, you wrote them in lockdown? Yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad you're releasing it after lockdown here. It's got released already. Bhai ne itna time laga diya release karne mein lockdown. Khatam ho chuka lockdown bhai. Ha, wo kab ka release ho chuka hai? Acha, wo abhi ka release nahi hai. Lockdown ke lockdown mein humne usko release kar diya tha. I got you. What is the other one? What is the other one? The one is coming up is called Verava. Verava. Uske baare mein sunao. Char languages. Verava, Verava, Verava. Wo vi tpak Verava. Very yeah, very yeah, very yeah. ये भी टपक वेरिया इज इट साउथ वन तो तो या इट्स तमिल तमिल तो मैं भी गाता हूं वेरवा 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 यू वो भी टपक वेरवा वेरिया 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 ये भी टपक वेरिया what does it hit mean hit me on the ground hit me on the ground <laughs> when you hit me on the ground hit me on the ground When you hit me on the gram, you know Instagram. <laughs> yeah, baat, kya baat hai? Such a nice song, yeah. Tamil yeah. songs are so uh, catchy, man. Like, yeah. I mean, so something they have something about their language, about their words, yeah. the way that uh, yeah. you know people from Tamil and people from South when they when they sing in their local yeah. language, it's got magic, brother. It's yeah. got magic spun around it. So, so the so the thing is like verva, verva is one word, but it has a long meaning. Verva in Tamil, it's called. Come over to my place. Varava, come over to my place. Varia means. Madja, Vapis. Varava means can I come over to your place? And Varia means you can come over to my. अच्छा, the guy is so confused. उसको ये समझ में नहीं आ रहा है कि you come to my place or I come to your place. मतलब बात ये है कि पूरी रात निकल गई. फिर की बात ये हो जाती है कि कि किसके घर पे कौन आएगा मेरे भाई? नहीं, तरबूज अगर चाकू पे गिरे या चाकू तरबूज पे गिरे. बात एक ही है नहीं बात एक ही हो सकती है हो सकता है अगर अपने घर पे बुला उसके छः फुट दो इंच लंबा ऐसे ऐसे चार भाई हो उसके यार आपका इंतजार कर रहे हो कोई पैसा बाकी था किसी के ऊपर डिनेरो मीन्स मनी तो भाई का नाम है डिनेरो ऐश पैसा ऐश पैसे को जला देते हैं So I'll tell you, dinero means um, dinero definitely means money, and um, dinero means money. Money means green. Green is dollar. When you say dollar is green, so the green means life, and when you say ash, 
So ashes to ashes, dust to dust. So the meaning of my name is life and death. Oh my God, what was the logic? They were awarded from Harvard, from Harvard Awards, from Oxford Institute, from Oxford Institute, from the highest recognition awards. What was the logic? What was the logic? No, but seriously, brother, that, that breakdown that you gave me of dinner and ash, unbelievable, yeah. unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm going to sing that song again. My mind is going to sing that song. Where is it? 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 No, no, no. Let's keep singing that. Where is it? Where is it? بنگلہ دیش Yeah. And uh, that song was like uh, remarkable. Do you remember the song? Yeah, I remember the song. You want to yeah. hum that song with me? Yeah, sure. All right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, this is your host, Monty, uh, combining with Dinner Ash to sing a very classic. Bheegi bheegi si harate bheegi bheegi yaade bheegi bheegi baate bheegi bheegi Aankho mein kaisi nami hai Aha ha ha Aha ha Aha ha جانے کوئی کیسی ہے یہ زندگانی زندگانی ہماری ادھوری کہانی نہ جانے کوئی نہ جانے کوئی ہماری ادھوری کہانی Ladies and gentlemen, that's De Niro Ash. He's going to set the stage on fire. Set to Bollywood on fire. What a talented guy. And uh, Jadne se pehle, Yerwa, Yerwa, Yerwa. ٹیم سو ڈالر دیے تھے تعریف کرنے کے تھینک یو ویری مچ ابو ختم ہو چکے